How is it going, Periscope? Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Dave Glazer. We are here in the Prep Wars Meal Prep Kitchen. Learn to meal prep.com. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for checking in with us. Appreciate it. Yep, throw down those hearts for me. Just click, 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 click. Swipe right to invite your followers. I would really appreciate that. What we are talking about today is we are talking about how to save time and money by preparing your meals ahead of your busy work week. Uh, today's introductory conversation is all about the tools that you need to be successful at meal prep. And we're gonna cover the very basics today. So let me stand up, let me move on into the kitchen. Everybody see me? Everybody hear me? All right, first and foremost, so when we're talking about meal prep, we want to make sure that our area is clean. This is a much, much better kitchen than we broadcast from before. It's bigger, but you don't need that much space in order to get your meal prep done. But what you do need is you need a clean and organized space. I don't have a whole lot out on the counters, but what I do have available that I'm going to use to meal prep is all clean and ready to go. If I don't work from home, I've got a uh, your choice of a to-go cooler. This one's great. It's got a hard side on the inside. Keeps my food nice and fresh. Like I said, you need a clean and reliable chef's knife. I like this one. I like the bright colors so that I don't accidentally grab it and pick it up thinking it's something else and accidentally cut myself. A cutting board, nice and clean. I've already gotten my shopping done for the week, and I just want to buy Costco and I spent a grip of money. But that's what I do at the beginning of the month. All right, thanks for checking in. Appreciate you all. If you happen to see, since I'm not close to the phone, if you happen to see somebody talking a little bit inappropriate down the bottom, please go ahead and block them for me. That'd be a great help. Tap on their name. Block, block, block. Thank you, hearts. Appreciate it. I can see that from where I'm standing. Anyways, I've gotten my big bolt shopping done and out of the way at the beginning of the month. One big trip saves me a ton of time over the course of the month, and then small trips each week on Sunday. So I'm going to slice this guy open, and I've got another nice tool that's going to save us time and keep our kitchen and space organized over the course of our meal prep. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about saving time and money by preparing your meals ahead of your busy work week. If you'd like more information, head on over to learntomealprep.com. And for the remainder of the day, we're giving you an extra $30 off. I know it says $99 on the, on the website, but I'm going to give you an extra $30 off. It's $69 for the rest of the week. That is a six-week meal prep course where I will send you emails to your in email inbox every Friday with a menu guide, a grocery list, and recipes to get you to save time and save money throughout the course of the week. Up next, you need yourself a water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated, that's gonna help you get to your goals because the body does not work without water. Now lastly, I wanna compare these two pieces of uh, meal, prep, meal prep tools right here. So this is an old cast iron skillet. You remember these when you were growing up? Yeah, my, my folks use these almost every day. Well. It doesn't work anymore, and especially if we want to save time and save money. So we're going to go find a non-stick product, a Teflon pan that we can, yep, thank you again for those hearts, I appreciate that. Non-stick surface that we can easily cook multiple things. Stay tuned for more from the Meal Prep, Learn to Meal Prep Kitchen. We will be coming to you very, very often, giving you the tips and the tricks that you need in order to save time and save money throughout the course of your busy work week. So, hey Sarah, thanks for joining in. Appreciate it. Now I'm gonna open up the floor for a little bit of question and answer. Ask me anything when it comes to meal prep. Ask me anything when it comes to nutrition. For the next couple minutes, we're gonna banter back and forth. Go ahead and comment below. A one if you can hear me, a two if you cannot. Really appreciate some participation today. Ah, thank you, Sandy. Yes, thank you very much. You can hear me. Appreciate it. 
Sarah, should you be tuning into LearnToMealPrep.com workshop while you're driving? Comment below one if you think yes, you should be driving while you do this, or two, just kidding. Anyways, all right, so no takers on the Q&A. That's quite all right. I know there's a little bit of a delay in the comment section down below, but let's keep this thread going. And throughout the rest of the day, if I see a question pop up on this thread, on this, uh, on this little periscope we got going on, I will quickly answer that. So uh, follow us on Instagram, at Fit Life Champions. We've got a seven day fitness challenge going right now. And again, head on over to LearnToMealPrep.com for your additional $30 off of the six week Learn to Meal Prep workshop, virtual, sent emails to your inbox. We've gotten a great feedback over the last six months on this workshop. We'd love to have you tune in. Thank you so very much. Oh, thank you, Sandy. You're rehydrating with your rehydrate. What's your favorite flavor? I personally like mango pineapple, but I do love the red raspberry too. I've got some more coming too. Um, yep, uh, I've got some more rehydrate coming to me this, coming, this Wednesday. I cannot wait for that. Oh, mango, yeah, mango pineapple, my favorite. Um, I've got a ton of spark and a ton of rehydrate coming to me on Wednesday. So if you're in the Denver neighborhood, swing by the brand new home of Fit Life Champions and I'll give you a tour of the learn to meal prep.com kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.